So a little over a week ago now, I put out a post on my Instagram talking about how I was gonna be taking a week and a half to two weeks off of all social media. So I just wanted to discuss a couple of reasons why that happened and what I learned from having a week and a half off of social media. Now, first off, I just wanted to get this out of the way that there is nothing to worry about. There never was anything to worry about. Uh, this wasn't something that was like a, a, a crazy mental health issue or that I was feeling kind of anxious or depressed about stuff. Um, I would say that actually even being overwhelmed probably wasn't even the right word. I think that the right word was probably actually overloaded. I was feeling extremely tired, fatigued, and I just wanted to break that down and give you guys a bit of a reasoning for why that happened. I felt like in a sense, I had a ton of bricks just kind of like, just kind of sat on top of me. These bricks would represent people or circumstances or situations or things I had to do, clients, just an overwhelm of all these different bricks, different things, different representations just bombarded and it felt like I had a ton of bricks just compiled on my shoulders. So before this whole YouTube journey kicked off for me, uh, I used to run five miles every single day without fail. I also used to lift weights every single day and I used to meditate, a really deep good meditation for about 40 minutes every single morning. I used to obviously go on daily walks with my girlfriend and probably the most important thing out of all of this, I used to do a lot of client video shoots and editing um, and getting really well rewarded for that as well. The other high percentage of the time I spent growing client social media accounts for them. I was at a stage in my life where I was eating super good and I was working out and I was doing a lot of other stuff other than meditation to stay mindful and I would probably say that like even now like I'm at a really really happy stage in my life like don't ever get that twisted. I am at a super happy level of my life right now. I just become overloaded. I think amongst everything, the things that I was doing before I started this YouTube journey uh, gave me incredible balance in life. I earned really good money uh, from my filmmaking stuff, so that gave me good security, able to sleep really easy at nighttime. And I also was doing filmmaking, which is my passion. So you could say that over the last couple of months, I've really reached a level of my life where uh, I was experiencing ultimate fulfillment every single day. And that kind of like leads on and ties up to why I actually started this YouTube channel because I'd got myself from a place of feeling pretty shitty about stuff all the way up to, to that fulfilled daily life. I wanted to be able to share that back with you guys um, and obviously contribute it back to you guys and you guys can obviously learn some hacks, distinctions, tips and tricks um, and then apply them to your life and hopefully your life will excel as well. And uh, if I'm being completely honest, like this YouTube channel is the most fantastic thing that's ever happened to me ever because it's gave me a platform to express my voice and it's also been able to help people which is just like the most mind-blowing thing ever it's super fulfilling to know that I can help some people out so I did just want to really quickly say again thank you so much obviously for being here watching my videos and subscribing to my channel however there is something which has as the weeks and the months have gone by, really started to grate on me just a little bit. So sometimes it can take up to two days to shoot and edit some of these YouTube videos. I didn't really think about this before when I was uh, signing up to the old YouTube button, but it can sometimes take literally 13 to 15 hours to shoot, edit, and do all of the other jazz that comes with these videos. If you think all the way from the conception of having an idea in my head to writing that idea down, then kind of like designing everything around it, writing the script for it, getting familiar with it all, then setting up the whole studio, all the lights, all the audio. Then it takes me about two hours to actually shoot the thing. Then we actually go through the process of about six hours of editing the entire video. And if it's a high production quality video with like a lot of B-roll and stuff like that, I might have to go out and spend a couple of hours shooting B-roll, shooting drone footage, drone footage, drone footage. When it comes to the day that I'm actually putting the videos out there, there's like one hour of hyping the video up before it goes out. And then as soon as the video goes out, like three hours of promoting it, posting it into Facebook groups, into Reddit groups, um, and posting it in places where I think people will wanna watch that particular video. So I think if you work that out hours wise with, with every single video, um, I'm actually only really getting three days off, which at the moment is pretty much Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So on a Monday, 
morning when I get up at 6 a.m. I'm shooting and planning videos for YouTube from then all the way around till late afternoon. I then have a bit of a break, have some food, then I go back to editing. Then I do those editing all the way around till I go to bed, wake up Tuesday morning, and then I edit for the morning all the way up to like 2.45 p.m. in the afternoon then it's like a frantic rush. Sometimes I'm stressing myself out about an edit and then I'm like, gotta get it out at three o'clock because I said I'd get it out at three o'clock. So then I eventually hit the uh, upload button at five to three, the video goes up, you guys watch it. I then spend three or four hours promoting that video. And by that time, it's very, very late on a Tuesday evening. I watch a film, I go to sleep. I then wake up Wednesday and I start the whole process again, all the way around till Thursday when I'm posting the, the, the second video of the week. So essentially I'm literally left with Friday, Saturday and Sunday as my days off. And obviously on those days off, I wanna go and play golf, I wanna go and play football, I wanna do the things that I'm also so really interested in in my life and I think it was just making me feel really fatigued tired like I wasn't sleeping properly I was worrying about certain things uh, yeah it was just it was just a time that it was just not really that happy for me to be honest the point I'm trying to make here is because of that there's certain things that I've been really slacking on the things that I've been missing out which are essential to my physical and my mental health values that I hold really dear to my heart so first off uh, the first thing that was really playing on my mind and getting to me uh my rent guy literally asking for rent every other day and i'm like don't have it man i would say that i barely squeezed in a 3.5 mile run once a week literally on a friday i'd be like i should probably go for a run i don't think since i started this youtube channel i've been to the gym once my meditation at the moment is down to a quick 10 minute guided meditation on youtube uh, each morning. Besides occasionally walking my sister's wonderful dog, Trevor, who you met on Instagram, uh, I literally have not gone on any walks. In the last three and a half weeks, I've lost three consistent video clients. So clients that come to me once a week to shoot content for them, I get consistent money from. Uh, I've lost three of those in the last three weeks. I have a whole bunch of other clients that are still waiting on edits and they are moaning consistently about me not having those edits done. I literally have people left, right, and center leaving our Instagram growth service, which again was a very consistent income of money for us. And really I think the reason for that is I just haven't found the balance of time to be able to dedicate, you know, the right proportions of my productivity levels towards all of them. You know, all of this in total has kind of like left me pretty fuzzy headed every day. Um, I'm definitely not sleeping very well. I'm eating like shit. I've definitely got softer and definitely put weight on again. It's a bit like basically YouTube is that one thing that like I'm super passionate about and I super love, but it's the one thing that gives me zero return um, in anything other than obviously contributing to you guys. Uh, but realistically, like there's no other return for it. It's like you spend your entire, like 97% of your time focused on doing this and I guess for like a year or so you're not really seeing anything back on it. I'm pretty sure you guys can uh, can catch my drift here. I think realistically life just became a game of seeing how much stuff I could take on and I think inevitably eventually that pressure was always gonna eventually explode. I think if I'm being honest, this is down to the fact that I'm obsessed with productivity and I think that maybe if I think about it properly, it might be true that you can indeed be too productive. You can set super high unrealistic expectations and then 90% of the time you feel like a failure when you don't meet those expectations. So uh, hmm, yeah, my advice on that would be um, lower your expectations and raise your standards. So uh, you might be thinking to yourself, well, how about my week off? What happened? Well, I well and truly hit the reset button and I'm here to tell you today that I am currently feeling absolutely fantastic again. Since last week when I posted that photo on Instagram saying I was having some time off, I have been sleeping absolutely amazingly. I have finished all of the outstanding edits and sent them off to my clients who are super happy with them. I actually this week gained a new consistent client, so somebody who's gonna want me to shoot for them each week. I have 100% run 5.5 miles every single day since that post, and I've been lifting every single day. So you probably can't notice it right now, but I'm 
feeling all jacked up and pumped again, which is a very good thing. I have successfully done 40 minutes of deep, meaningful, mindful meditation every single morning. And this last week I've taken on four new social media growth clients. So things are definitely on the up in that sense too. I think it's really, really important to say at this stage that yeah, hitting the reset button was obviously a thing that I needed to do and I'm feeling really, really great again. But here's a really, really honest truth for you guys. I honestly felt like quitting. I felt like I was gonna quit this whole YouTube journey, that even though I've only just really started it in the last couple of months, I really felt like I was gonna quit this channel. I was either gonna quit or I was gonna potentially put it off for a little while until I had some financial runway to be able to focus on YouTube for like a year or so. But then two things happened. On Monday, I received a message which in all honesty, absolutely blew me away. It was an old friend who for a long time has suffered with depression and she messaged me to basically say that my YouTube channel had completely changed the way she thinks about things and in a sense it had changed her life. There was one poignant part of that message from her that actually said because of you I live for today. So that's some pretty powerful stuff right there. It really got me thinking to myself like I can't leave this now man like this is actually really genuinely helping people people are liking this stuff I really can't leave this right now. I absolutely have to find a way to make this work and then uh Less than 24 hours later, the second most mind-blowing of notifications came through on my phone. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me I know that I am so much better Harry, if you are watching this, Thank you so much, buddy. Genuinely, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And that's not a thank you just for becoming my first ever Patreon, but also for tipping me over the never give up on YouTube edge. That little gesture from you literally instilled so much hope and faith and to all my dreams for the project that is this channel. You, my friend, are an absolute legend. I'm super thankful and I'm never ever gonna forget the fact that you were the first one. In a time where I really, really could have just turned around and just quit, not only did somebody turn around and say that my channel really, really, really helped them, potentially saved them, but a second person coming in and financially having, you know, a belief in me. And that just, it chokes me up to think about it now. Thank you so much, Harry. Now, before you uh, say anything or start going super crazy in the comments below, this isn't an advert for my Patreon. Um, that all genuinely happened this week. I'm sure Harry will probably comment below as well. I don't know Harry. Harry just done that out of the goodwill of his heart. However, if your budget literally allows you to spare your pennies or a couple of bucks each month, and you want to support me and my channel and the idea of this project, then uh, I'll drop the Patreon as the first link in the bio below. Again, if it's not within your budget, that's absolutely fine. But I want to say thank you so much to those that do uh, decide that they want to contribute. Two dollars might not seem very much, but when you look at the average number of views or subscribers that I have on this channel, if everyone gave two bucks, then it would be get out of here client videos. I'm doing YouTube forever. Man, imagine that. I would literally pump out like four YouTube videos a week, like super high quality, like bang, 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 there's your YouTube videos. <laughs> but yeah, I just uh, wanted to throw that out there. At least the uh, Patreon is out there in the world now. Don't have to talk about it again. I probably won't talk about it until I get to like 5,000 subs or something, but whatever. So moving forward, I've learned my lessons and I've paid my tolls in terms of throwing way too much on my plate at one time. Life is essentially all about balance. For the time being, it's very important that I start to catch up again on all my bills and my rent and everything else that's due out at the moment. So I will be splitting my week into a new schedule where I focus on the balance of work and life and play and all of that jazz. My heavy focus is obviously uh, productive client work heaviest focus of everything is always going to be my physical and my mental health and I think for now I'm revising my YouTube channel that I'm gonna focus on just one upload a week uh, for the time being until you know we pick back up again and then we'll go back up to two videos but for now uh, this is me telling you that I'm dedicating and committing myself to uploading just one video a week but this video will be a very high production quality something I spent a lot of time on and it will obviously be very informative it will still just basically be my normal videos, but it will just be one a week. And that video for you to write down right now will be Wednesdays at 3 p.m. UK time. 
So I think that roughly works out about 7 a.m. in LA. Um, so yeah, trying to kind of work out where you are in the world and kind of work it out from that. London, 3 p.m., LA, 7 a.m. This is really cool for me because it means that on a Monday morning I can wake up and I can just shoot and edit videos all day until really late in the evening and I don't have to worry about the rest of the week. Then when it comes to like Tuesday to Sunday, I can just really focus on my own flow of doing my own things as I as I kind of want to do them, do you know what I mean? I can work on my clients' videos, I can work on my Instagram growth stuff um, and essentially it only really means that on a Wednesday at like five to three, I just have to hit upload and then we can kind of maybe do a little bit of promotion on the video but realistically from Tuesday right through to Sunday it's going to be time that I can focus on the stuff that is really important to me at this stage of my life so uh yeah I'm excited I'm, I'm definitely excited to come back to Instagram too because you guys you guys know how much I love the Instagram man I'm on stories every single day so yeah it's super exciting for me to come back to YouTube anyway but I'm really really excited to get back to daily posting stories and, uh, and, and photos on Instagram so I'll drop my Instagram somewhere on screen here um, do go drop me a follow on there too and uh, before I go I just want to leave you with this little quote that I think is very relevant to this time right now the key to keep in balance in your life is realizing when you've lost it I realized that last week that was my moment of realization I lost the balance and uh, I think that ironically at the same time I found a deeper sense of balance